Smile by Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga on the guitar. So here's a quick overview of everything I'll be covering in this tutorial today. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so you are gonna need to know 12 different chords to play through this song, which I know sounds like a lot, but because we're going to capo to our second fret here, we can play all open chords, so it is beginner friendly. So let's go ahead and start with our G major seven, which looks like this and sounds like this. And by the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that in my free beginner series right here on YouTube, so make sure to check that out right here. And G major seven, you might've seen me fret it this way before where we scoot our ring finger down. Um, but the reason I would suggest doing your finger positions like this is because it'll make the transition into the next chord much easier, which is our C major seven. So you just wanna move your ring and your middle finger down a string and take off your index. All right. From there, we're gonna go to our B minor seven chord. And this is like an open way to play that. And then from here, we're going to our E suspended four chord. So you just want to take your middle and your ring finger, move them up a string and tuck them under your first. And then from here, we'll go to our regular open E. Next, we have our A minor seven. always going to go into our A minor 7 over D chord so for that you just take your middle finger scoot it down one string and add your pinky on the third fret here then we have our E minor next is our G chord and I would recommend the four finger version of G recommend this version of G is because it'll make it easier to transition into our next chord which is D over F sharp you just want to move your middle and index finger for that one after that we have our B7 chord and then the last chord in the song is our A7 Those are the 12 chord shapes you need to know to play through this song. So go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to memorize and practice transitioning between all of those different chord shapes. I know there's quite a few in this song, but they're not super hard. They're all open. So it's definitely beginner friendly. It'll just maybe take a little bit of time to memorize them. And a little piece of advice for the transitions is to take a look at the order of the chords in this song and then figure out which fingers you can keep down between your transitions. And that should make it a little bit easier to kind of find an anchor finger between all of those transitions. Um, but anyways, once you have these chords under your belt, then we can go ahead and talk about the strumming pattern that I would recommend for this song. All right guys, so as I always say, if you are brand new to playing guitar or you're somebody who struggles with playing guitar while singing at the same time, the first thing I would suggest doing is to bring up the song and go ahead and play through the entire thing with a single down strum as you sing through the song. And just take this time to really get used to what word you're on or what syllable you're on whenever those chords are changing. So here's a quick example of what that would look like. If the world was ending, I'd want to be next to you. If the party was over and our time on earth was through. All right, so that's just a quick example, but you would essentially want to do that for the entire song and just really make sure you know where those chords are changing. And this is actually something you do right now. If you check out my Patreon page, I do have this entire guide available to download and print out. So I'll make sure to leave that link in the description box for you. Um, but once you're used to this kind of single down strum and you know where those chord transitions are happening, then we can go ahead and add to it to make more of a full strumming pattern. All right, guys, so this strumming pattern is fairly simple. The only thing that might look a little bit different about it is the way we're gonna count it. So this song is in six, eight time, which means there's gonna be six beats per measure. So we have one and two and three and four and five and six n per measure, okay? Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna play that like this. We have one, two and three and four, five and six and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. All right? 
pretty straightforward and what you want to do is we're going to play this pattern two times per chord for the intro the verse the pre-choruses um, and then once we get into the chorus we're going to switch it up a little bit and just play this strumming pattern one time through per chord all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that intro. We're starting here on our G major seven chord. So we have one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and twice. Switch to your C major seven, same thing. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and twice. All right, and those two chords make up the entire verse. So speeding it up just a little, we'll have this. We're going to stay on our C major 7 chord, and that's going to lead into the pre-chorus. And here in the pre-chorus, again, we are repeating the strumming pattern twice per chord. I realized, ever you go, that's where. both of those E chords, E suspended into the E, those are each going to get one time through the pattern, but the rest of the chords in the pre-chorus is going to get twice. And that'll lead into the chorus, which I said we're going to only play this pattern through one time per chord. If the world was ending, I'd want to be next to you. play through the entire song. Um, all of the choruses is going to follow that pattern where you just play through this strumming pattern once per chord and then all of the verses and pre-choruses are going to follow like the one that we just played through and that's how you can use the strumming pattern to play through the entire song. So again go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to really get the strumming rhythm under your belt. The rhythm is not too hard to count but I think it can be a little tricky if you're a beginner to keep in mind how many times you're playing through the rhythm because it does kind of start to sound the same after a while. So just make sure to take the time that you need to understand how that all works together with the song but once you get back we can go ahead and put together everything we've learned in this video today to play through the song one two three four five six jamming out to the rest of this song with me yeah, yeah. then make sure to check out my patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other fast track and play along guitar tutorials i'll make sure to leave that link in the description box down below if you enjoyed learning this song with me then you should definitely check out this video not only does it have a super similar vibe and feel but it's just as fun and easy to play so i'll see you over there bye